a typical busy morning in Bangui. On his way to the fields where he works, Ruffin stops at this store to buy a dark brown powder called Menga, a daily ritual he's been doing for the past four years. At first I took it for the flu at the suggestion of my classmates, but then I couldn't get on without it, so now I take it every day. I spend 300 CFA for my daily dose. Sometimes I don't have enough to buy my fix, so I'm forced to ask my loved ones for money. These little plastic bags contain a cocktail of tobacco and sodium bicarbonate, more commonly known as baking powder. Women and men snort or smoke manga on the streets in the markets or at home, away from prying eyes. In Bangui's combatant district, the combination is made by hand by people like Mathurin. He has been making manga for a living for the past 20 years. I buy the plants in the northwest of the country, particularly in Paua, a town on the border with Chad. Then I turn them into powder before putting them on the market. Annual exports to Chad, Cameroon, Sudan and France reach two tons per year. And of course I also sell it here on the markets because demand is very strong. Across the country, a growing number of health professionals are concerned that manga consumption is becoming a widespread addiction. If you often consume tobacco, you run the risk of developing respiratory problems. In the long term, you may also have serious problems with your cardiovascular system and perhaps even develop diseases such as cancer. Despite awareness campaigns by the Ministry of Health, manga sales are still on the rise in the Central African Republic.